Namaste. Hello, my dear beautiful viewers. How are you all doing today? I welcome you all to your channel. This is your host, Shivang. For those who are new to my channel, thank you so very much for tuning in. Today, I'm trying to look like, uh, you know, kind of India Janda, you know, India flag. So, I am like orange, green, blue, white, all four colors in one. All right. That's my energy today. I'm feeling very, very much aligned, grounded, peaceful, all right, and very content with an, and with that energy. I sit today to do your love reading, and I believe my father has already taken over, and whatever he has to casket, whatever information that you are supposed to know, it will come through my mouth. Can, uh, not Cancerian. I have already done Cancerian. This is for Leo. I don't know why I landed up saying Cancerian. Uh, if you have um, any connection with the Cancerian, you can watch that reading. All right. Or this is a um, reading for a con for a person uh, who is Leo, but has a very strong placement uh, of planets in the fourth house. All right which is the Cancerian house. That means there is something taking place uh, as far as your relationship dynamic is concerned, Leo. This is your reading, Leo. Some kind of uh, family dynamic plays a big role in your life and uh, there is a significance. You can see your chart, you can check your chart uh, that is talking to me loud about uh, Cancerian. I don't know how it connects to you. You will know more than I do. It is just that somebody needed to hear because nothing comes out of my mouth by accident and believe in me I actually thought of doing this reading for Virgo while I picked up the deck landed up saying cancer and doing a reading for Leo I get a sequence here now this is a psychic download very strong all right there is a strong placement of somebody in Virgo or in Cancerian. First thing and this 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 strong placement. That means right after Leo comes Virgo and right before Leo comes Cancer. There is taking place in your natal chart. If you pay attention to your natal chart, you will see wherever the Leo house is. What is after Leo and what is before Leo? There is strong some significant that something is going on in these two houses, all right? And this is, has something to do with relationship and partnership, um, partnership houses. So there is this dynamic, this is a love reading Leo, all right? So there is this attribute of one seven axis. So maybe like you may be a Cancer Ascendant, okay? So one seven axis, the seventh house would be Capricorn. It, it is a earth sign again, right? Or you may be a Pisces or Virgo ascendant. So it's a one seven axis, right? So there is this water and you have strong placement of moon there. So moon is ruled by cancer. So that's how I'm giving you an example because I'm seeing it uh, that there is this ignition of pa passion, creativity, like doing something uh, you know for somebody like you I'm feeling like you are going to be very much grounded rooted like that's your earth chakra balancing all right that means you are going to find some kind of balance in your root chakra sacral chakra and solar plexus all right these are like kind of um, uh, you know root chakra is earth element or oh, sacral chakra is uh, water element and uh, solar plexus is fire element all right so water fire uh, water uh, earth water fire is aligning right and now this passion is igniting your heart space again this is like kind of an energy where uh, you are coming out of that four of pentacles or nine of pentacles kind of energy that means you are breaking free from some kind of cyclical loop and pattern where you are recognizing your true authentic self while you are working on yourself somebody is saying where they went wrong and they are trying to match up with your frequency and vibration right now they are in rush i'm seeing somebody in rush that's why i picked up the deck i was in rush like let me finish it off as fast as possible 
I am feeling good energy so I don't know which reading I'll do and I will not be feeling good energy this card just came out I will I might not feel so I am like like this so I really don't know how the energies are going to play for me and look this is the Virgo energy the thinking woman all right that's the sixth house this is card number 47 that's 11 so something very spiritual is taking place look at that something very spiritual is taking place in your life and this is the magician and the mirror to whatever psychic messages i download that this is 53 my dear that's card number eight if you'll end up saying five three four seven or seven four three five or you'll end up saying eight eleven or eleven eight and take it as a confirmation you are in the thinking mode whatever activation is taking place through those creative nudge inspirational push that you are getting motivate feeling motivated you know you, you want to do something all right and the thinking that you are putting in the efforts that you are putting in actually with that passion that i'm feeling that solar plexus is a place where you feel really really so grounded that you believe in yourself in your spiritual qualities that you believe that give me that go signal open this heart out and you're ready to create you become that co-creator all right that's what and look this is water and this is fire and i have ex already experienced you are feeling grounded rooted with whatever your your determination or conviction or devotion is to whatever you want to create you're feeling now grounded motivated strong uh, strong willed all right and that you are getting when you are finding that footing and grounding all right like sitting on your throne like an emperor in one hand you have that passion to go for it and in one hand a balanced emotion to charge up and that's when the flow of river has started to pour into you like the wisdom the knowledge it's like opening and opening it's like this that there is this staircase where you are just going up and up and up that's how i'm feeling all right while you are in that thinking mode of how to execute those uh, those ideas and uh, creative thoughts that I have. Uh, you have this thought also like I just hope that whatever I'm doing right now, nothing from the past experiences should come or I am going to experience. If you have that, don't feel bad like I should not be thinking like this. It's fine if you are getting that thought, Leo, because, uh, you know, you are becoming conscious now all right that's why you are thinking and making sure that you don't create or repeat the same mistake so you're trying to be very careful and put calculative actions and measures and that's why probably i got that virgo energy where what is virgo energy virgo is all about that's why you're feeling like an hermit energy all right when you are in hermit energy somebody is getting to see your energy of to who you are and they are getting to absorb your energy so kudos if you are vibrating in that energy that's very good and if you are being calculated thinking and you want to make sure that nothing happens like what happened in the past and you believe in keep doing you and you're doing that you more go up in your energy frequency all right always connecting to the uh, universal frequency automatically you will get major downloads uh, you will see the signs and synchronicities will start popping up it will speak to you loud and clear all right and automatically uh, you will be able to come in your power and take actions that is required be in your professional life job career finance whatever or relationship because what i feel is that right now with the challenges and tough time that you have gone through you have found that balance and that's what i'm feeling that this is a collective energy for you and for your masculine and this is also a collective energy for you and masculine because you see again that's the merging energies that i got of water earth and fire right and i feel like that uh, the connection is uh, free, vibrating right now if you're feeling that this connection is dead then father in heaven is saying that no this connection is not that this connection is dead in the 3d world which was meant to be it was supposed to die so that uh, you connect more in spirit and through time apart you understand each other's values start respecting each other start respecting each other's emotions and you are weighing those pros and cons where you went wrong if you are th thinking too much right now where exactly what went wrong they are also thinking what exactly 
exactly where uh, what went wrong and when you will be weighing those pros and cons that's when you will be able to see each other from a different perspective and will respect each other from a different perspective and you will be able to act accordingly in your day-to-day -day life all right that's what i'm feeling and this person and your your masculine energy and their masculine energy is like an energy of a uh, of a co-creator all right co-creator and that's what universe with rude awakening uh, is uh, helping you see the metamorphosis that you both are going through to find that balance and footing and grounding into the 3d world so that you can manifest such powerful relationship this is a heaven made relationship yeah you know the father in heaven is saying that if you doubt it's your choice but this is something made in heaven and karma is always in your side because of the good uh, actions that you have built in and the emotions that you have been looking for like how they feel about you what they are thinking about you where they are at when it comes to about you and what uh, the, the something that you really want to know how they feel about you then these are the messages that they have sent me to spoke, uh, speak out to you being with you is so fulfilling and soulful if you are not there right now not talking not messaging that means they are missing this being with you is so fulfilling and soulful they're speaking to their soul how it how good it used to be when you were there all right or you may be feeling the same way how good it used to be when we were together do you hear me you are mine and only mine look at that they are saying do you hear me you are mine and only mine all right there's no place on earth that i can escape from these emotions and feelings look to whatever i said once that re uh, energy radiates from you you go into every darkest hole where you beam your light and they cannot run away from that light. That's the Empress light. That's the High Priestess light. All right. And they have to see that Hierophant within. All right. They have to see that Emperor within to match with your frequency, come halfway, be compatible for each other, and create a happy, healthy relationship in the 3D world. For that matter of fact, first of all, you both have to clear your shit from the, I can say, past life only, which you have actually lived you have already uh, you are asked by the universe that even if you are carrying some residual energy it's time that you say goodbye to that you really don't need it uh, i again wanted to say virgo you don't really need it libra look i don't know from where this libra came i don't know from where these signs are coming and i don't really know how you are connecting to these signs all right go and watch my other readings probably and this libra uh, virgo or uh, cancer or leo in some way shape or form connects to you leo in strong uh, very strongly that's how i'm feeling i regret for holding back my true feelings and emotions i love you dear if if you really don't know how they have been feeling all through this time they regret for holding back their emotions all right through time apart and in silence they are understanding that they have played with your emotions and they are sorry about it and they regret doing that all right they regret doing that and now they are understanding bloody hell i don't i don't care wherever i go she follows me all right some of them might have also experienced some abnormal and paranormal things connecting to you all right as if like you are looking at them your shadows or, or you might have pop up in their life in some way shape or form which was a rude awakening for them to see your worth and value in their life trust me when i say i have not done anything wrong to you intentionally and when they are seeing you they are feeling like they are ghosted and haunted by you the, the only thought that is coming from them is trust me when i say i have not done anything wrong to you intentionally the intensity of our connection overwhelmed me they are acknowledging this that they really have done nothing uh, intentionally so don't keep holding on to any grudges for them all right so let them free them you know that way you can also break free from any boundaries that you are creating illusionary wise in in your surroundings when you break free from this that's when you'll be able to see the truth of the entire thing that's when you will be able to see who you are and when you vibrate in that energy of understanding that you are the co-creator that's when the same energy will be radiated to them i hear the telepathic promptings you sent me look i told you right your uh, telepathic promptings you guys are connecting to each other in psychic way you know you guys have the power to uh, access akashic record you guys are psychic medium in some way shape or form they know it or they don't know it but you guys 
connect to each other in spirit very very strongly and no power in this universe can come in between this connection all right i hope this messages has helped you in some way shape or form until we meet again i'm sending across much love and light to you all om namah shivaya stay blessed and in peace bye bye